Right, we're going to graph cube root functions now, okay? So think about things you can cube root. So look at this one. Uh, this is the cube root of x minus 5. Okay, so again, the negative 5 is outside. It's not part of the cube root. So what numbers can I cube root? Well, I can cube root a 0. I've created this table myself. Okay, I can cube root a 1. The cube root of 1 is 1. I can cube root 8. The cube root of 8 is 2. I can also cube root 27. The cube root of 27 is 3, but I'm starting to get way on the x-axis here. So, hey, dogs. Shh. Right. Okay, so let's just try this. What is the cube root of 0? It's 0. Okay, when I take away a 5, I get negative 5. Okay, so there's your y-intercept. Remember y-intercepts when x is 0? y is negative 5. And I'm not sure how far to go down on this one. So I'll put the negative 5 here. Okay, so negative 5. So that's that there. Okay. Okay. Now, how about when x is 1? When x is 1, what's the cube root of 1? It's 1. Take away 5, it's negative 4. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to put a negative 1 in here. Okay. So what's the cube root of negative 1? That's negative 1. Negative 1, negative 5 is negative 6. Okay. There we go. So, maybe we can cube root negatives. Right, uh, 8. I've gone to 8 because I can cube root 8. So, what's the cube root of 8? Let's erase some of this stuff here. It's got a small eraser. Okay, so I've done that. So, the cube root of 8 is 2. When I take away 5, I'll get negative 3. Okay? So, when I cube root a negative 8, I'll get negative 2. Again, with a negative 5, that's negative 7. Okay, so I'm just going to plot these points now. 0, negative 5, I started with. Right, when x is 1, so about there, y or f of x is negative 4. So about there. I'll put some dots here for Well, go on, I'll put a little cross in there, okay? So that's that one done. When x is negative 1, so that's over on this side, all right? Not positive 1. Uh, y is negative 6. f of x is negative 6, so that's down here a bit, okay, about here. Fire engine. Okay, so remember I don't have a great piece of graph paper here. When x is 8, so I've done that one, okay. When x is 8, so way on here, okay, way on here, um, y is negative 3, so where's negative 3? About here, so... Okay. Um, when x is negative 8, y or f of x is negative 7, so negative 6, negative 7, about here. Okay, right, I am going to join these. Now, I kind of do know what a root x graph looks like. It, it is this, but it's just been moved down 5, hence the minus 5. Right, I'm going to do this, hopefully. Right, uh, That's not bad. That's not bad. It kind of looks. I'm going from left to right. So this one. Okay. So if you think about it, um, uh, well, I suppose this bit looks a bit like the square root graph. Okay. Okay. But it does work on both sides. Remember, domains of cube roots. You can cube root anything. Remember, you can't square root negatives. So that's the graph. Let's just erase that. Erase that. I was messing around here. Okay. That's what the graph looks like. Okay. I plotted it. Now the domain, can you see, this will go on forever, all right? This will go on forever. The domain is negative infinity to positive infinity, okay? That's the domain in interval notation, okay? So that's the domain of that cube root of x graph, okay? So look at the points, things you can cube root, take away five, those are the points, that's what it looks like, okay? I'll do one more.